Hey guys, it's Sam here and welcome to my Premier League predictions for this season. I did this last year and I did alright. Um, didn't, didn't go too bad, but this year, I don't know. Um, I'm not cheating. Um, I have put them down. I'm going to stick to it, but looking at it again, there are a few that I may have misjudged, but we're going with it. Um, I'm doing, I'm, the, I'm recording this on Tuesday. This may go out tomorrow. This may go out Thursday. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I decided to do it now. I know I said that I was probably going to do it like when the window shut or quite late into the window, but I I didn't want the start of the season to sway my opinion I just want it raw opinionated raw uh, predictions so we're, we're just gonna jump straight into it and uh, it'll be on the screen again so you can see but I'm reading it off the laptop so at first I have Liverpool last year I went with Man City um, I thought it'd be close, didn't really expect it to go down to the last game of the season and to be decided in a few minutes, <laughs> ah, but yeah, um, this year, uh, as last year I went with City, this year I I've got a back us, um, the Community Shield was was a great start, a great win, the first silverware of the season. However, both Liverpool and City were far off the best. But we looked fitter, we looked stronger, we just looked more prepared than City did. We how how it ever even got to one one, I don't know. We should have killed the game off before we let them back into it, but don't matter now because we ended up scoring twice quite late on Salah and Nunes so uh, very happy about that but yeah uh, I've, I've backed us I think again it'll be a close race between us and City and I this season I've just backed us to pit to pit to to beat them second I've gone with Man City obvious both teams have strengthened massively, uh, but I've just switched it around this year because I did it the other way around last year. Uh, third, I have Chelsea. Um, I, I don't really know what else to say. Really, it's... it's Like that day. They've been a bit... Like that. Uh... Took them quite a while to get going in the transfer market and they've signed Sterling, they've signed, uh, I, I don't know who else they've signed, uh, Koulibaly? And they've signed someone else but I don't know who he is. Uh, No, it's gone. Uh, don't know who it is, but apparently after Cucurella from Brighton, after City said they weren't going to up their offer, Chelsea have apparently gone in. I mean, was he really that good? I don't know. Um, but yeah, fourth, I've gone with Spurs. They look very good. When Conte came in, he's... Spent quite a bit of money this summer. Um, some of them, not really sure. Richarlison. I mean, he was Everton's best player, but is he really that good? I I don't rate Richarlison. I really don't. I just think he's a crybaby that rolls around on the floor and does nothing. 
Then um, it has a little bit of skill. So that's about it. Like, but sure. Uh, fifth, I've gone with Arsenal. Uh, you can't really like judge off pre-season, but they have had a good pre-season. Um, Gabriel Jesus has hit the ground running quite a bit um, during pre-season. If you can do that in the Premier League, then Arsenal definitely are on to something there. And I don't think they'll have enough to finish in the Champions League because I still don't rate Mikel Arteta as a manager. Um, I think that will come down to it and the fact that Spurs and Chelsea both have very good proven managers... I, I think that'll do it. Uh, United have gone with 6th. I think that's where they finished last season. Um, I've put them the same place because I don't know. We don't know what's going to happen uh, with Eric Ten Hag. New look United. If you can say new look, I mean, they've not really brought that many people in. But a new style. Um, they've had a decent pre-season, sort of tailed off towards the back end of pre-season but um, I don't think they're really that bothered because pre-season means jack shit but uh, in the Premier League we, we don't know um, also the Europa League how are they gonna uh, like take to that are they, are they actually gonna try because they're on a bit of like a trophy hiatus are they gonna Say we need to start winning silverware, so we'll go for the Europa League. Or are they just going to do what every big club does when they get in the Europa League and just go, fuck that off, just play the kids. Who knows? We'll wait and see. Uh, seventh, I've got West Ham. They, they finished there again. Um, I think that they've, made, they've done some good business. I still think with a month left of the window... I expect West Ham to still make a few more signings to improve, but at this moment in time, I think they'll be around 7th again. 8th, I've got Newcastle. Um, very impressed with what Eddie Howe did when he came in. Uh, the January window definitely helped them massively, and if they could get a few more players in before the window shuts I think 8th is a very realistic achievement and I think it'll be a very very good achievement because it'll be the highest Newcastle finished in a long time I think they finished 11th last season which considering they didn't win for the first 14 games of the season they, they did well to stay up um, and did well to finish 11th so, I think 8th could be a very good estimate. Um, but yeah, I think for that they will need a few more players in. Uh, 9th, I've gone with Aston Villa. I think what Gerard has done at Villa has looked... You, you can see what he's doing there. There was definitely an improvement. Um, I don't know if Dean Smith warranted getting sacked. Because I don't think they were too bad. But I just think Villa want Villa can't really afford to go down again. And they were sort of in a patch where it... it they... It didn't look like they were going anywhere. And in fact it looked like they were going down. But I... I don't know if... I, I still think Dean Smith would have had a little bit in it to keep them up. I think they would have still been safe if Dean Smith remained manager. But it is what it is. They got Gerard in. He's done very well. Mm, yeah, very well. Um, but I think just a little bit few areas need tweaking maybe that's those new signings they brought in quite early in the window um i don't know if villa's transfer business is done um i have not heard anything <laughs> um 
I, I don't follow Villa, so I wouldn't know. I don't follow any Villa transfer news. I don't know if they're still in for players or if all of their business was done early in the window and now they're not doing anything because I think they still need maybe another striker just because Danny Ings can be injury prone and Ollie Watkins can can also be a little bit injury prone as well but I, th I don't know if they signed a striker I don't think they did I'm pretty sure they still have Danny Ings and Ollie Watkins and I think for first choice strikers that's it I can't remember who else they have um, but I've gone with ninth. 10th I've gone with Leicester however today Kasper Schmeichel ha is expected in Nice for a medical. Newcastle have up their offer, I think, yesterday for James Madison to 50 million. If they sell both of those players and don't replace them, 10th is not going to be possible. They are going to finish a lot lower than 10th. So, yeah. Um, I, don't, I don't know how that's going to go, but I've got them 10th at the minute because I don't think... I don't think they're, I think the other teams above them have strengthened better and are, and are doing better in that regard. I think they'll finish higher than Leicester. If they sell those players and don't replace them, they'll finish a lot lower. Uh, yeah, it, it is what it is. 11th, I've gone with Brighton. Um, I think Brighton are quite safe. With Graham Potter as manager, I think he's he's a decent manager, and I think eleventh is a very realistic achievement for Brighton. Twelfth, I've gone with Palace again. Patrick Vieira looked really good with Palace last season, so I think this season will probably be even better. They might be a bit stronger. I don't really know who they've brought in, um, but I think they'll they'll still be decent. Thirteenth, I've gone with Leeds because I I think they they were we haven't really been able to see what Jesse Marsh can do properly because he he came in at a quite of a difficult period where Leeds had a lot of injuries. And they just kept on getting those injuries. And then the players didn't help themselves by getting sent off. So they would have more players out with suspensions. But they managed to stay up. And he's spent quite a bit of money. They've gained a bit of money as well from Rafinha and Calvin Phillips leaving. They've got some good players in. But I think think they still need to replace that. I think they need a winger. Because um, I don't think they've brought in a winger. And Rafinha was very key for them. So they definitely need that. And I think they need another striker. Because I think just relying on Patrick Bamford. We saw what happened. You know, Leeds really struggled when Bamford got injured. I know they've got some young players, but relying heavily on young players isn't the best option. Uh, it's it's not great. So, I think another striker would definitely help them. 14th, I've gone with Wolves. This is one that I'm, I'm, I'm not too happy that I put them there. I think I misjudged Wolves, especially because I think they finished ninth last season. And I've put them considerably lower. I've put them at 14. It's just because I don't think they've really signed anyone. And everyone else has. Like everyone around them has strengthened. And they haven't really. And if they lose Ruben Neves. I think that's going to be a big blow. Also. You have to sort of look at. If, if Jimenez gets injured. They could be. They could have a bit of a problem up front, um, but we will 
we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know about that, but I've put them there. Fifteenth, I've gone with Forest. Um, again, it, it, it's one of those that I, I don't... We don't know. I've not seen Forest in the Premier League because the last time they were there was 23 years ago and I weren't born then. So, I don't, we don't know what to expect. They've signed a whole new squad. They've signed, I think, 12 players. And I think they still want some more. So, uh, that will be interesting to see the rest of the window of what they do. Uh, who else they bring in? I still think they need another winger and another striker, which I think they are trying to look at. But the big one was Jesse Lingard. Probably the biggest signing of their window so far. Very experienced player. Very good if they get the West Ham Jesse Lingard. If they get the Man United Lingard of a few years ago, then I don't I don't think it'll work, but I don't think they will. I think he's sorted that out, even when he played last season for United, which wasn't a lot, but when he did play, he looked quite good. And you could definitely see why West Ham really wanted him. Um, and you could see the loan move definitely did him the world of good, I think, turned his career around. 16th, I've gone with Everton. Again, don't rate Lampard as a manager. Not particularly impressed with the business they've done. Um, they sold the best player, Young Richarlison, for £60 million And they've not really replaced him. So, we'll wait and see what, what the rest of the window has to offer. But, if it stays like it is... I, I don't think they're in. I think they're in for another tricky season. Uh, in 17th, I've gone with Southampton. Um, again, not really impressed with the business they've done. But I think they're more okay than the others. I, I don't know. It, it's a very tough one. Um, down at the bottom, it was a... It, it, I've just put them... Uh, in a position uh, I don't really have a lot of reasoning for them it's just it, it is what it is I don't, I don't know uh, then relegation in 18th I've gone with Brentford I think the loss of Christian Eriksen is going to be massive he was big uh, when they brought him in they were starting to look a little they were having dips and it wasn't looking great and then Ericsson came in and just from there Brentford went up and you knew they, they you knew they were safe. Um, he just turned it on and was brilliant for them but I th he's going to be a massive loss. I, just, I don't know if Brentford have enough to stay up again. I think it's going to be very tricky but... Yeah, I, I've just gone with it. 19th, I've gone with Fulham. Uh, I mean, the last few times they've come up, they've gone straight back down. So, I expect the pattern to continue. I don't really think Fulham are a great Premier League team. Um, their, their business is a bit... Meh. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Um, We'll see, if Mitrovic can bring his championship form into the Premier League, I think they might be okay. But the problem is he's proven in the Premier League he's not very good. When he goes into the championship, he's a baller. When he comes up to the Premier League, he can't really score that many goals. So, if, if they can do that, I think they might be okay, but... I don't think he will, so I think they'll go down. And then bottom in 20th, I've gone with Bournemouth again. I I, I don't think they've really strengthened at all, really. Um, they brought in Ryan Fredericks, but... Um, 
I don't really know what he's really going to do. Like, I mean, he's a good right back, but they need goals, they need solid midfielders, they need defenders. I, I don't I don't rate their chances. Um, so that's why I've gone with them bottom. Um, I don't know. To be honest, this was all just a guessing game. That's what predictions is. It, it's a guess. Realistically, you're just guessing, and who knows? I mean, I did, I did okay last year. Will I do better this year? I don't know. Um, I'm not fully confident in a few of those predictions, but I, I've gone with it. But off the cuff, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna predict right now who I think like just some more stuff so I think what I'm going to do the FA Cup winners I don't think we'll retain it I think I know a lot of them have gone well we're going for everything but I think because we missed out on the Premier League and the Champions League Last season, I think that's what we're really going to go for this season. And sort of not bother about retaining the Carabao Cup or the FA Cup. I think those are the two that we'll really go for this season. But we will see. Um, I think... Who do I think? Uh, for the FA Cup, I think... I'm going to go with Chelsea. I don't know why, but I think because they got to both the League Cup and the FA Cup final and lost on penalties to us, I think they're really going to try and get one better and win it. And I can just see Chelsea doing it. I mean, they, the last, they got to the last two FA Cup finals and lost them. So I think third time lucky they'll win that. Carabao Cup. I'm gonna go with United. I think they will really try and win a trophy because they are, like I mentioned, on a trophy hiatus. They really need silverware back. Um and I think they will really go for one of them. I think either the Europa League or the League Cup, and I think they're just going to win the League Cup. Uh, Champions League. Back in our boys, and back in Liverpool. We we were so close last season. If, if Courtois just didn't have a blinder, we would have won it. And I think that will be big motivation to go back to the final like we did when we lost to Madrid last time. Went back and beat Tottenham. I think that's going to be the big motivation, getting back there and winning it. The Europa League. Uh, who's in the Europa League? I only know the Premier League teams that are in it. Um, well, I, I don't know who's in it, so I'm going to have to go with the Premier League team. And I'm just going to go United. Uh I ain't going to do the Conference League because, again, I don't even know who's in that. Um, and, yeah, top goal scorer, I'm going to go with... Salah, I think. I don't think it'll be shared. I think he will win it outright this year. And, yeah... Um, that that's what I'm gonna go. So, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Slow motion crew And we up in our growlings When people change But not us And we just
just chillin', kickin' it, kissed by the sun Could be soaked to the skin and I'm all through 